Hello, today I want to show you how to create subdomains onto your domain name and then once you've created those subdomains to set up WordPress onto each subdomain and when you set up your WordPress on your subdomain that you don't get the word WordPress in your URL because it's really, really irritating when you do. Anyway, so what you first do at the moment, what you can see in front of you is my desktop. And this is the desktop that's provided by my uh, web space provider. Um, in here I can fix up all the subdomains and the databases. Uh, my website provider provides the Plesk um, a version. Anyway, so what I first do is, at the moment, I'm in the main window. I tick on the home window. You see, that's this. Then what I do is I go down, I find my name, lisabijou.org. That's my main domain name. I'm going to set up then on my main domain name the uh, subdomains. I'm only allowed one domain name. Uh, otherwise I'd have to pay quite a lot of money but on that one domain name I can start setting up all sorts of subdomains so I click on the lisabijou.org and I come into a new window in this new window uh, you'll see the word subdomains now click on the word subdomain yes and you'll see I already have a couple of them here Drive like an Italian at litabijou.org and swimming with jellyfish at litabijou.org. I'm going to create a new subdomain. Yeah, so I click on Add New Subdomain. What I need to do is create a name. Okay, I'm just going to put blogging, blogging, and then at litabijou.org. I'm going to tick on the SSL support because I want to uh, set up uh, WordPress onto my um, my new subdomain I need PHP support so you click on the PHP support that's WordPress works with PHP I, I use the same FTP file upload file account name as my main lisabijou.org name so I don't need to create new uh, passwords and names etc etc so anyway once I've clicked on that with my PHP support and the other supports I click on OK OK so what you'll find now is in my list of subdomains there's the blogging at lisabijou.org okay but if I actually go to the page you'll see there's nothing there yeah because I haven't set up WordPress onto it yet yes I go back yeah and I'm gonna set up WordPress onto this blogging lisabijou.org I already have it on my VVV drive like an Italian and swimming with jellyfish but I need to set up a completely new WordPress support, WordPress data system onto blogging .org. So I go to the left here and you'll see Installa Installation Application Installer. I click on my, app it's actually just an application installer. Click on the application installer that your provider has provided you with. Yeah. Now, these are the applications I already have going. These are all my different subdomains where I've put a, a complete database, WordPress databases onto each application. I got my main site which is the lisabijou.org and then the other two drive like an Italian and swim with jellyfish. Then I add a new application to my newest subdomain. Uh, I go into the application browser and I look for WordPress. Okay, I come into the WordPress uh, uh, install this application window you can import an existing install or you can install this application of WordPress I'm just going to install the whole thing again because then I can take out the word WordPress in the URL because it's it is really irritating it took me a while to get rid of that word that you know I had created my sites and I was adding pages and I suddenly realized 
Oh, the word WordPress is in all my URLs and I really don't want that. So, to get rid of that word, WordPress, you need to do that right at the beginning when you're installing this application. Okay, so I install WordPress. I go through the uh, whole kind of, you know, set it up thing. Here, I've got my domain. It says domain. It, I click on the little arrow at the side and it will give me a list of my different uh, domain uh, subdomains. I have my HTTP blogging one here and you'll see on there is the path and in the path it says WordPress. Get rid of that word. Just make it blank. Yes? Then you'll click on next and a little window will come up saying uh, are you sure? Are you really really sure? Are you a hundred percent sure? Are you a thousand times sure you really want to do this? Yes, you're quite sure you want to do this so you click on next and here comes the little window you have chosen to install into directory with existing content. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, you're sure. So click on OK. Oh, OK. Do you know that's just a typical computer thing? Are you sure? Are you a thousand million times sure you really want to do this? Yes, we are. Except, you know, when it's viruses and then you don't get asked at all. OK. I do automatically manage the database settings for me. Whoopla. Now I'm going to show you that WordPress is installed on my site with the main page. Okay. Here, blogging Lisa Bijou at Punt org. There's no word WordPress in that anymore. And I'm going to go to the page. And you'll see, there it is. Okay. Then I'm going to log in. Uh, admin was the was the username, and this is the password I just copied. And I'm in here. Then I'm going to tick on pages. Uh, and I'm going to tick on about about okay and there you have your usual text uh, this is an example of a WordPress page well I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna put this is my uh, blogging blogging at Lisa at Lisa Bijou punt org site. Uh, you shouldn't really look this up on the internet because it's not going to be findable because it's just not there. Uh, here by the uh, uh, title of the text I'm going to put this as home. I don't like uh, about and stuff like that. I just like home. Okay this is my blogging at lisabijou.org site. Then I'm going to update it and Okay, you'll see still here at the permalinks it says about. Okay, so I'm going into I tick on that and I just change that to home and okay. And then I update it. Okay, and now we go to view page. Okay, and so what you can see now at the top is that the word WordPress is not in here. HTTP blogging at lisabijou.org and then the word home is in there. Okay, now that's it folks. Enjoy yourselves.